Hi guys, Joe here from Lawn Solutions Australia. Following on from our recent video about cylinder mowers, in this video we cover some of the important information you need to know about cylinder mower maintenance. With these tips you should ensure you have your mower performing at its best so your lawn receives a super clean cut every time. There are a few steps to maintaining a cylinder mower and it's important you do this to keep the machine cutting cleanly. Before every mow, you should check to see that your mower is cutting properly. This is done by checking and adjusting the cylinder against the bed knife. The best thing to do is to get a grass blade or a piece of paper and check the cylinder will cut in various spots across the point of contact with the bed knife. If it doesn't, you'll need to adjust the cylinder so that it cuts properly and doesn't cause damage to your lawn. It's important to note that the cutting cylinder should never be tight against the bed knife. It should be evenly adjusted across the point of contact with the bed knife. Make sure to clean your mower down after every mow. It is also recommended to apply lubricant to the cylinder and bed knife to prevent rusting. This will help to keep it in good condition so your mower continues to cut properly. On some mowers, you need to engage the cylinder like on Scott Bonner 45s. When you engage them with the lever, make sure you do it slowly or you can cause damage to the mower. It is also recommended to check chain tensions and ensure adequate lubrication so both chains and sprockets stay in good condition. Cutting cylinders wear down and lose their square cutting edge after a season or two of regular mowing. You'll know it's time to send away your reel when you see bruising strips on your lawn and your leaf blade tip is undulated and not evenly cut. You'll need to send your cylinder and sole plate away to be ground together. The sole plate is what the bed knife is screwed to. Cylinder mowers are great to give a nice low cut on lawns and to give you that golf course look. You will have to train your grass to be mown low though. Here is a process we recommend from taking your grass from a height of say 30 millimetres down to 10 millimetres or lower. You never want to cut more than one third of the grass blade off in one go. Following the one third rule to bring your lawn lower, you would cut from 30 to 20 millimetres. From there, we recommend you cut at this height every couple of days for at least two weeks to train the lawn to get used to this height. Once it's trained to this height, you can then do the same process to get to the next level down, making sure you stick with the one third rule. Repeat this process until you get to your desired height. Keep in mind, additional inputs like fertiliser, water and soil conditioners will be required to keep a lawn healthier at a lower height. If you have high or low spots though, I'd recommend you level your lawn with some top dressing, but only do this in your lawn's growing season. Mid to late spring is ideal in most areas. Another way to take your height down is to cut it back below your desired cutting height and then raise the height of your mower to get it back to where you want it to be. This process is a lot quicker, but your lawn won't look great for a few weeks, depending on the season. I recommend you only do this when your lawn is actively growing and you can keep the water up to it to baby it back to full health efficiently. If you are after more in-depth knowledge and information regarding cylinder mowers or servicing, seek out your local cylinder mower expert or the manufacturers themselves. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we hope to catch you next time.